What's going on guys, welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV and that is just, I've just watched the game and it is just such a massively disappointing result, that was one of the most frustrating games of football I've ever had to watch and to, what annoys me most, going from that great, beautiful football that we were playing against Sunderland to that lethargic style of play to lose to Stoke City in a game that, you know, we kind of had to win, you know, to be four points behind Chelsea now, this is a massive blow in this title push. I mean, are there any positives to take out of today's game? You know, Ch um, Chamberlain played well when he came on, but I can't really, I can't think of much good that has come out of this game. I mean, we can have a good reaction to it, but, you know, four points behind Chelsea now. Is the league over? You know, nothing's won at this time of the season. We've still got 10 games left to turn it around, but if you look at our fixtures, Tottenham away, City, Chelsea, Everton away, you know, it's not looking all that hopeful at the moment, but, you know, you just got to believe that we can um, go and get something out of this league and you know I'd still be happy with just an FA Cup win and second or third in the league that would do me down to the ground but it's just it's just really depressing really because we didn't deserve to lose today I think a draw probably would have been a fair result because neither team played particularly well but to lose in that manner it's just it's just it's not fair really but um, you know I'm gonna I'm, I'll get straight into the game because right before kickoff there are a couple of raised eyebrows and that was probably um, the inclusion of Podolski, Rosicki, and I think it was Arteta in the squad, and that we didn't start the likes of Chamberlain and Flamley. Now, Arteta, I haven't really got a problem with him starting, but I thought the number of back passes he made today that you know maybe should have been forward ones, the lack of creativity he had, and yet he was playing in a defensive role, but towards the back end of the game when we should have been going forward, the back passes just... It's so frustrating to watch um, with Arteta at timing, but I don't want to put too much stick on Arteta because he's... He didn't play badly today, it's just no one played particularly well today. Wilshere was another one that, you know, he, he was kind of dreadful. The number of times he gave the ball away. And Rosicki, personal favourite of mine, I've got his um, name on the back of my shirts and he was just awful today. I mean, he has these nice, lovely moments where he brings the ball forward, these lovely, quick, pacey runs and then, you know, it's just his final ball is just so poor and, um, you know... He's the kind of guy that can have an impact off the bench, but when he starts, he's a bit different. And it was just Podolski as well, non-existent in today's game. He had about one chance on goal, absolutely scuffed it. Uh, Giroud, another one that, you know, I can't put too much stick on him because the number of men that were marking him, but he was so, again, he was poor today. And he was so good against Sunderland, two goals and assists to kind of not being able to do anything today. It's, it's just such a frustrating game. And we didn't even start well today. Stoke were probably the better team for a majority of the game. We did nothing cre um, creatively. Ozil was left out of the team, which you know I wasn't too surprised by, but I did want him to start this one. I think it have, uh, he's the kind of guy that could have created a little bit of magic, which you know you just know how many chances he's created going into this game. Uh, and I just think it would have been logical to start for this one. Chamberlain, why he didn't start, absolutely beyond me. When he came on off the bench, our best player by far, brought so much energy and life into the game. Set up about two opportunities, one for Giroud, and one for Sonogu, which, you know, he really should have buried. Um, and I was saying that we should have started Sonogu before this one. I just don't know who to put out on that pitch anymore because I just don't know who he's going to turn up anymore. It's so... I, frustrating is the word because I just don't know who's going to perform and who's not going to. Because Wilshere was great against Sunderland. He was really poor today. Giroud was great against Sunderland. Poor today. This team is so massively inconsistent at times. And we've got to be consistent. If we're going to mount a title change, I mean... It's so obvious that we are missing Ramsey and Walcott at the moment. They're the kind of players that you think would make the difference. And thank God we've got Ramsey back in two weeks. But, you know, like I'm saying about the actual performance, we made it through to half time. You know, I was thinking, you know, we're going to come out second half, all guns blazing. And I don't know why we can't replicate that first half that we had against Bayern Munich every single game. Why can't we play with that passion and desire every single game? It's just, we should be coming out the blocks every game. And we're not doing it at times. And we just sit back and we let Stoke play their, their game, which we shouldn't be doing. They weren't giving us any time on the ball. We should have been doing the same. And they were kind of good in possession at times. It pays me to say it, but Stoke, they, they kind of played decently today. And they kind of, you know, if if there had to be a winner for today, it probably would have been them because they were the better team overall. They did more with the ball. They defended extremely well today. Or well, I was saying that, we created nothing up top, so there was kind of nothing to defend against at times. It's a game we had to win, and we haven't won it. It's just games like this that win you the league, and we're not winning them. It's just We can turn this around. There's no doubts about that whatsoever, but it's just a huge, huge blow. Four points is a lot to make up at this stage in the season. We've kind of 
got to be beating Chelsea and City now. We've kind of got to beat Tottenham as well, and we've got to beat Everton. So we've got an awful lot to do in the coming months. It's just, it's, it's frustrating. I've said it so many times. I can't quite say it enough at the moment because towards the end of that game as well, the, we brought on Ozil, we brought on Chamberlain, and you, they're the kind of players that you think would make the difference. Chamberlain did, Ozil didn't, he was extremely quiet, he did open up the play a little bit but nothing that you would expect of someone who is you know on the money he's on and the price that he's got and you know I won't talk about that too much because I'll probably say something I regret because he he will come back at some point when he's got 4 minutes under his belt I know he's going to play well and I think if he'd have started the game today maybe we would have seen a different side to him but for the time that he was on the pitch he did absolutely nothing and Maybe that's because he has Giroud and Sonogo in front of him, two lumpy guys that weren't making any runs. And it doesn't help when you're, when you're a player of that talent that is, can't provide people that aren't willing to make runs. But um, the penalty decision, might as well get straight onto that because all, all the play going up until the penalty was so lethargic and there was nothing coming of it. Penalty, I think it was Walters that tried to chip the ball over Koscielny. He already had his hand in the air and it was ball to hand and penalty was given atrocious refereeing decision, it was cowardly, it was spineless, ref Ari had no idea what he was doing, I, I couldn't believe it was a penalty, and then Walters has the cheek to go and push Koscielny over, you know, why isn't he in the book for that, absolutely pathetic and cowardly refereeing in my opinion, and you know, if he thought he'd got the decision right, Koscielny should have been off the pitch as well for stopping a goal scoring opportunity, it's ridiculous, the number of um, the poor decisions that have gone against us this season, the Chesney red card against Bayern today, it's, it's just... And, and the Man City game 6-3, I hate to bring that up, and it was a long time ago, but the number of offsides that you know should have gone in our favour in that, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, the standard of refereeing at the moment. Something's got to be done about it, but of course nothing will be done about it. Or everything will go against us, and it's just, you know, we didn't... I don't think we deserve to lose. Stoke might have just edged a win, because they did have a couple of good chances with Crouch, and they probably had the better goal scoring opportunities, but I, I still think that we didn't deserve to lose. Not in that way, not like that. It's just so hard to take and, um, you know, it's just, it's a real downer really. We've got to respond to this. We have to respond well. We've got Everton in the cup. We can beat them. We're going to Wembley. That would be absolutely magnificent. To beat them, go to Wembley, it would be an amazing response to what's happened today. We can turn this around, but if we don't win the league, I'm not going to be too downhearted because at the end of the day, it was a real long shot to go and win it. And if we can get second or third in the league and then go and win the FA Cup, I'll be more than happy with that. But we've got Liverpool hot on our tails now. We've got Chelsea four points above us. City with two games in hand. Welcome to a standard march for Arsenal. It's just, it's so hard to swallow. Anyway, leave your thoughts on the game um, below. Love to hear your thoughts on this one. Um, let me know your thoughts on the referee, especially, and the decision for the penalty. Um, and of course, if you have enjoyed the video, it would be great if you could click the like button. Please don't forget to sh um, don't forget to share your opinions in the comments box below. I really want to hear them on this one. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys, and get subscribing.